Hello, my loved ones, and welcome back to the Soulmate Journey Empath. My guides have been pushing me and pushing me and pushing me uh, to record a video. Um, and this is uh, related to the Twin Flame Journey specifically because um, especially at this particular moment in time, this concept seems to have inebriated pop culture. And there are a lot of uh, differing sources of information about uh, what this is and what this journey is truly about. And uh, I've just felt like I see so much misinformation out there that um, as part of my light working truth, being a divine feminine on this journey, I just feel really called to kind of... Um, discuss what this is and what this isn't as um, a lead in to a course that I am developing about the Twin Flame journey. Um, so first of all, um, a lot of people are like, well, what is a Twin Flame? And I would like to dispel what a Twin Flame is not before I go into um, describing the energetic dynamic of the situation, all right? So um, a lot of folks out there have this idea that a Twin Flame is literally um, their heart's desire, their wildest dreams, the love they've always been looking for incarnate. Um, an absolutely reciprocal uh, romantic relationship. It's not to say that you cannot have a romantic relationship with your twin, but if this is the dynamic you're looking for, um, <laughs> my guides are saying like uh, the Mariah Carey song, Dream Lover, Come Rescue Me, look for a life partner or a soulmate. That is not a twin flame. Um, if there is um, this feeling like you cannot proceed forward. Your life is not full. You are not full. Your heart is not full. There isn't meaning in your life without this person. Then that is more of a trigger of where you need to heal, where you may be fostering some karmic patterns related to codependence, okay? Um, because if you have a true twin flame, the unconditional equal give and take, the reciprocal unconditional love that you feel with your twin flame will sustain you and inspire you, whether they can physically be a part of your life or not. Okay, um, their energy is always with you. You're always connected and you can use this as inspiration to create. So getting into kind of what is this uh, rather than what it's not. First of all, if you find yourself on a twin flame journey, you contracted to begin the ascension process in this lifetime. You may have begun this ascension process in a previous lifetime, but you agreed to do it now. And our twin flames present themselves to us in this ascension lifetime because we have deviated from our soul's truth, from our divine soul blueprint, from what we are made of and what we are here to do. We've lost sight of our soul's purpose, our soul's mission. And our twin flame arrives as a catalyst to trigger those deep things within us that we have repressed, that we've written off, um, that we have trapped inside of us, um, privileging what other people want us to be and what other people tell us to be over our authentic truth. So if you're finding yourself on this journey, it is because your soul was meant to expand and evolve in this lifetime. And first and foremost, your twin flame is your catalyst for this realization. So this is why uh, a lot of people that are on the twin flame journey 
experience this very world shaking, very unconventional, very, oh my God, I wasn't looking for this type of energy um, when they meet their twin flame. Um, additionally, um, this person, if they are a true twin flame to you, is going to have a lot of characteristics in common with you. But what they do not have exactly in common with you is going to be the complete opposite, okay? Um, and the reason for this is because you are getting a mirror when you meet this person. Um, they are able to see the hidden aspects of you and you are able to see the hidden aspects of them and they are triggered uh, every time that you exchange energy with your twin. And this is to get you to quit repressing things, to process them and let them come to the surface. What this catalyst is, is the invitation and opportunity for the deepest healing that you can imagine. And there is, of course, a significant amount of healing that comes into play when we are committed to a soul mission and have contracted to experience this ascension process. Um, in terms of whether or not this dynamic is merely a catalyst or will cycle back around and uh, result in some type of shared mission work where the two twins come together to create something that is somehow meant to inspire, alter, or uplift the collective consciousness, the global uh, community, the world at large. Um, you both feel a calling to make the world a better place. And it is up to those two conscious souls on their individual journeys to determine if they can and are able to engage in this very deep healing um, so that at a later date they can come back together and work together, all right? So one of the other features of this dynamic is when you meet your twin flame, you have this magnetic, indescribable feeling that you are meant to create something with this person. Um, and whether you are working directly with them or just inspired by the energy that you feel from them, that you're feeling from the connection, this is like really, really going to activate your creative self. Um, the chakras that are very deeply activated on this journey are the sacral chakra, which is the seat of the divine feminine here, um, and the solar plexus chakra, which is the seat of the divine masculine. These are our two creative powerhouses. And um, there is this difference between us mastering our ability to allow, but with healthy boundaries, and then us mastering our ability to create and to manifest our will in the world, okay? So one of the common features of this journey is that depending on whether or not you are holding the energetic polarity of divine feminine or divine masculine, which I want to make very clear, it does not matter. You could be of any sex or any gender. This is just an energetic polarity. So um, this applies to all relationships. Um, there is no formula for what gender or sex divine masculine or feminine have to be, but they're an energetic polarity. And these souls are also created from the same energy. They were created at the same time from the same energy and have traveled through similar energies um, until they come back uh, and, and connect again and, and meet again. And so what is very crucial is uh, for divine feminines that find yourself on this journey, you will engage in very, very deep sacral chakra healing in empowerment, in embracing your divine feminine. 
But once you've mastered that healing, you will then work on your divine masculine energy and uh, begin to manifest your will in 3D and actually make changes in the 3D world. For the divine masculine, there's a lot of ego healing that will happen um, initially, a lot of healing around material manifestation, um, around insecurity, around pride. But then once that healing is mastered, divine masculines will go into this divine feminine energy to heal, master, and balance the sacral chakra, which is all about um, allowance. It's all about empathy um, sacred sexuality and creative expression. So, um, what this really is, okay, is the opportunity for us to see ourselves as we are rather than through the dirty lens that is the result of our karma and our experiences. Um, this can be a very triggering dynamic because some people, are not ready to look inward. So um, as I am moving forward, as I am working on these courses that are specifically designed to empower twins on the journey, I just wanted to put this message out there and make it clear uh, to those of you that are utilizing the Twin Flame content on my channel that this is a self-directed healing journey. This is not about what is the other person, you know, um, feeling about me? What is the other person doing about me? Because the truth of it is, if you're on this journey, you unequivocally, unquestionably have a sense of knowing in your soul that the unconditional love is real, that it is reciprocal. And regardless of whatever karma or circumstances or divine timing comes in between that there is, always has been, and always will be a reciprocal, unconditional love in the connection, okay? So my approach to work in this journey is personal empowerment um, because that is really the gift. That is really the focus of this journey is for us to dive deep into our healing and release things that are no longer serving us so that we can express ourselves authentically, so that we can be who we are and embrace this journey without fear, without shame, without judgment, inspired by that beautiful, reciprocal, unconditional love that only that other soul could mirror back to us. All right. So please stay tuned to the channel. I will be adding uh, more content that looks at the twin flame journey from a teaching perspective. So I hope that you are looking forward to embarking on this healing journey every bit as much as I have on mine. So please stay tuned and, uh, follow the new content and as it is developing, please comment below. I love to interact with my comments. If you are looking for a guide or a coach on this journey, um, in the description box below, I do have a link to my official storefront soulmate journey reads where I do provide individualized coaching twin flame readings, as well as, uh, readings that are picture messages from your counterpart. So, as always, my dears, I am sending you so much healing, love, and light. Bye-bye.